Tech. This is a story about an inexperienced chili taster named Frank, who was visiting from Spring. <laughs> Okay. Now, this, this was handed to me when me and Chrissy were in um, our first or second visit to the chiropractor, the new chiropractor we go to. Uh -huh. And um, Chrissy was um, laying on the table and he said, read this while you're there, read it to your daughter. And we're a couple of rooms down from a waiting room full of people with the door closed, but just a, it wasn't a soundproof, they could hear everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> How dark so, did you go to? <laughs> a fun, it's a fun guy. A fun guy, yeah. Okay, so here's um, one of the characters, Frank. Recently, I was honored to be selected as a judge at the chili cook-off. The original person called in sick at the last moment, and I happened to be standing there at the judge's table asking for directions to the cause light truck when the call came in. I was assured by the two other judges, native Texans, that the chili wouldn't be all that spicy. Besides, they told me I could have free beer during the tasting. Oh, I accept it. Okay. Here are the scorecards <laughs> from the event. Frank is judge number three. Chili number one, called Eddie's Maniac Monster Chili. Judge number one said, it's a little too heavy on the tomato with an amusing kick. Judge number two, it's nice, smooth tomato flavor, very mild. <clears throat> Judge number three, Frank. What the hell is this stuff? You can remove dry paint from your driveway. It took me two beers to put out the flames. I hope that's the worst one. These Texans are crazy. Chili number two comes up. Called Austin's Afterburner Chili. Judge number one, who's an experienced Texan chili taster. Smoky with a hint of pork. Slight jalapeno tang. Hmm. Judge number two. This has an exciting barbecue flavor. It needs more peppers to be taken seriously. Judge number three. Frank. Frank. <laughs> Keep this out of the reach of children. I'm not sure I'm supposed to taste anything besides pain. I had to wave off two people who wanted to give me the Heimlich maneuver. They had to rush in more beer when they saw the look on my face. On to chili number three. Ronnie's famous burn down the bond chili. Ronnie. <laughs> this is a crowd favorite. <laughs> Judge number one. Excellent firehouse chili. Great kick. Needs more enthusiasm though. Judge number two. It's a decent chili. Bit salty. Good use of the peppers. Judge number three. Frank. <laughs> Call the EPA. I located a uranium spill. My nose feels like I've been snorting Drano. Everyone knows the routine by now. Get me more beer before I ignite. The barmaid pounded me on the back. Now my backbone is in the front of my chest. I'm getting pie-eyed from all the beer. Chili number four. Oh no. Dave's Black Magic Chili. Judge number one. Black bean chili with almost no spice. Very disappointing. I like that picture. Pay attention. <laughs> I'm not doing this twice. <laughs> Judge number two. With a hint of lime in the black beans, it's a good side dish for fish or other mild foods. Not too much of a chili. Judge number three, Frank. I felt something scraping across my tongue but was unable to taste it. Is it possible to burn out your taste buds? Sally the bar maid was standing behind me with fresh refills. The 300 pound woman is starting to look hot. Just like the nuclear waste I'm eating. Is this chili aphrodisiac? Chili number five. Lisa's legal lip remover. Judge number one. This is a meaty strong chili. Cayenne peppers freshly ground, adding considerable kick. Very impressive. Judge number two. Chili using shredded beef. Could use a little more tomato. Must admit the cayenne peppers make a strong statement. Judge number three. I don't sell tomato. My ears are ringing. Sweat is pouring off my forehead, and I can no longer focus my eyes. I fought it. All people behind me needed pepper <laughs> the contestant seemed offended when I told her that her chili had given me brain damage. <laughs> Sally saved my tongue from bleeding by pouring beer directly on it from the pitcher. 
I wonder if I'm burning my lips off. This really pisses me off that the other judges asked me to stop screaming. Screw those rednecks. Chili number six. Pam's very vegetarian chili. Thin yet bold vegetarian chili. Good balance of spice and pepper. Judge number two. This is the best yet. Aggressive use of pepper, onions, and garlic. Superb flavor. Judge number three. Frank. My intestines are now a straight pipe filled with gaseous sulfuric flame. Sulfuric flame. chili with too much reliance on canned peppers. <laughs> Judge number two, hold oh, on. Uh, Tastes as if this chef literally threw in a can of chili peppers at the last moment. I should take note that I'm worried about Judge number three. He appears to be in a bit of distress and he's cursing uncontrollably. Judge number three, Frank. You could put a grenade in my mouth, pull a pin and I wouldn't feel a thing. I lost sight in one eye. And the world sounds like it's made of rushing water. My shirt's covered with chili. <laughs> Which slid unnoticed into my mouth. Out of my mouth. My pants are full of lava. To match my shirt. At least during the autopsy, they'll know what killed me. I decided to stop breathing. It's too painful. Screw it. We're not getting any oxygen anyway. If I need air, I'll just suck it through the four-inch hole in my stomach. <laughs> chili number eight. Karen's toenail curling chili. Happy Thanksgiving. Judge number one. The perfect ending. It's a nice chili blend. Not too bold, but spicy enough to declare its existence. Judge number two. The final entry is a good balanced chili. Neither mild nor hot. Sorry to see that most of it was lost when judge number three fought and pets all fell over and poured the chili pot down on top of himself. Not sure if he's going to make it, poor fella. Wonder how he would have reacted to really hot chili. Is that funny? Oh my god, yeah, my insides are very...